Good morning, YouTubers. This is Mario Cosby coming at you with a uh, build to this 70, 70 or 71 Plymouth Superbird. Um, I got it somewhat mocked up. And um, here it is. Sorry about that bright light there. I'm considering using those wheels. I think I picked them up at uh, off a card I picked up at Walmart for about twelve or thirteen dollars. Um, I'll show you guys what I did. Yeah, I don't, I don't have that wheel on, but chassis and all is in there. nice that one looks again I used the uh, super B chassis and I'm gonna use the Hemi that's in the super B the interior tubs in there with the glass dash so I believe this is going to be my stance. I can get a little lower than that in the back, but I think I'm going to leave it right there. Um, so I got to work on the rear to get it to stay like that. But uh, I'll show you guys what I did. Um, let me pull up a little. This has a vinyl top, so um, I just got to paint that semi-gloss black and then do the bare metal foil around the tr around the trim you know around the trim and all that so it will be all right but um, what I did I used the um, I used the uh, Super B's chassis and these parts here the firewall and the two side um, rails, I guess you can call them that, or um, I forgot the name of it, but anyway, I do have the front one that I, you know, the radiator support there, but that's got to go in last once the engine's in it, um, to give enough room to get the engine in. Um, they're, um, the original, on this original model, on the Super Bird it had all that molded into the body and uh, I cut it out trimmed it sanded it got it as square as possible and then uh, put these parts in there from the Super B um, only because it's wider and I'm using the Hemi engine so that's what I had to do that instead of what I'll normally do is this is the Super Bird's frame or chassis what I would normally do is is cut it you know back in here somewhere and just add on the tub from one of the other pro street models that I that I that I'll use and then I would just you know use the engine and all the related parts that came in the kit um for that model um you know to do the build but with this one um this one was real narrow you know it had a narrow engine bay which was for the small block or for the other, uh, I think it was a 426, not a 426, but a little small block in engine that came in this car. Um, so that's what I had to do and it all worked out well. Here's what will happen is when, when, I get, when I get done with the engine, excuse me for one minute. When I get done with the engine, I... Um, that's the chassis that came out of the Super B, the front portion of it, the front suspension of the chassis. And um, what I'll do is when I get done make, uh, building the engine, I'll sit it right in there, uh, glue it in, and then bring it in from underneath. And then put the radiator support in. Then I'll glue the radiator support and all that good stuff in once that's in. Um, I'll show you underneath what I've done thus far with it. Cause
uh, this is the the Super Beast um, chassis from, from here to here and then um, the front suspension part the front suspension part will come here the saw you know in that particular area um little gap in here a little gap in here but that's flexible enough where I can flex that and bend that down and then glue it in um, because right now it's on an angle yeah right now it's on an angle it's down a down slope like that but once I once I glue it in and then uh, bend this down then these components in here will be pretty much they're not going to be 100% straight but it'll be 99.9% .9 straight uh, with the rear what I had to do in here was I had to add I added a little section in here. sorry about that I added a little section in here um, to lower the tub into the body further down into the body so I can get the stance that I wanted um, and then I opened up the uh, channel here for the dry shaft it'll come and boom right into the rear there um, this is flexible enough that's why I said I'll probably leave it there I'm going to put some stays some standoffs in the back here one probably one on each side maybe some square stock quarter and square stock or whatever this and and I can adjust even the height here to even get it lower than what the stance I than what the stance original that you that was originally there um, I may not do that I just may leave it like it is got like the stance the way it is sitting right now so again that was um, pretty good really no filling to do I might um, I may come in here and fill in this gap here and one in the back of the fender well tubs we'll see you know uh, because once the tires are in where are they it's really not a big deal so what I mean it's really not a big deal you don't see that so um, we'll say again you know maybe do a little, little cheating but uh, again these are nobody's running around picking up the model and scrutinizing and, and and you know at these contests anyway um, but for my own satisfaction for my own peace of mind I may do that um, just to square it up and make it look nice so until then youtubers I'll keep these guys posted on this nice build and it is turning out to be a very nice build um, yeah see so there's, there's your wear well that's why I said it come down pretty good so I just made it just leave it right there and uh, they don't sell no photo etch parts for it, so I may just get the photo etch um, hood hood pin, the hood pins because that's on there. But again, we'll see what happens. I'm not sure about the color. I'll see. Um, I'm thinking copper, black vinyl top, tan interior. You know, so again, we'll see. Uh, that's all up in the air. To all my subscribers and what well, and those that have visited my uh, my page, left me great comments on my last build on the uh, 86 SSL Camino. I thank you guys. Um, I'm still considering using, you know, the 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 uh, the Pro Street tires that came out of the uh, Super B. Um, these wheels, the tires themselves, this one came off of my uh, Pro Stock Ford, and so did the rims. Um, so, you know, I'm st I don't think I'm going to use those. I, I like the other wheels better. They're just nicer, streetier looking tire. These uh, these other tires look more 
for the racetrack but um, yeah there you have it again it, it leave any comments if anybody has any uh, it's pretty straightforward I mean a little trimming here and there a little cutting here and there and a little add in there here and there but I got it to work and I think it's going to turn out real good so I'll keep these guys posted by adding more videos to this build and I thank you guys for coming by and watching it Mario out. Oh, by the way, have a great weekend, everyone. Take care.